General Physics 1 is brought to you by Physics Classroom. And here's the first part of Lesson 1. As a springboard, let's think about this. Which of the following is fundamental? Length, area, time, volume, mass, speed. Our lesson is all about measurement of physical quantities. Measurement is a significant skill that connects the laws and theories of physics to the reality of the world where each one of us exists. Understanding how measurements are made and the limitations imposed by the techniques are most valuable in doing a scientific task. Scientists can understand each other's work only by knowing exactly what measurements were made and how it was done. Quantities, in the physical world, can be expressed, in terms of a number, and a unit. There are only seven basic quantities, which are considered as standards. And all these physical quantities, have the corresponding basic units. Fundamental quantities, are quantities, that can be measured directly, using measuring devices. Derived quantities, are those that can be obtained, from the fundamental quantities, by utilizing a given formula. Examples of fundamental quantities are length, mass, and time, while derived quantities are area, volume, density, speed, weight, force momentum, power, and many others. Areas and volume, and other derived quantities, can be obtained, by using a given formula. The following are the examples. If the volume of regular shaped objects can be obtained by using these given formula, how can you determine the volume of an irregular shaped object? The different units of measurements are used in our day-to-day -day activities. When you go to the gas station to fill up your gas tank, the unit of measurement used is liter. In the Sari Sari store or supermarket, the units used for mass are grams and kilograms. For volume, milliliters or liters are used. On road markers, the distances, are measured in kilometers. The most common measurements, you will be using in the laboratory, are those of length, mass, volume, and temperature. Metric is known, as the universal unit, of scientific measurement. Table 1.1, shows the common metric units. Table 1.2, is the table of prefixes. Table 1.3 shows the metric to English equivalents. It is necessary to convert the units of the quantity from one unit to another because different units in the same system can express the same quantity. For example, one may need to convert centimeter to meter or even to kilometer. Mathematically, to change units, we use conversion factors, which are simply equivalent statements, expressed in the forms of ratios. Study these examples.
try to answer the following questions. Which equivalent factor does not describe a leader? Which is thicker, a 2 nanometer tungsten wire or a 0.002 micrometer strand of hair? Karen poured 20 and 3 fourths cubic centimeters of water in a graduated cylinder. She dropped a piece of stone into it. The level of water in the graduated cylinder rose to 33 and 1 cc. How much is the volume of the stone in cubic meter?